Hi everybody, I'm uh, making this video about this uh, article which I made just recently which was talking about uh, a team of uh, people uh, whose mission is to reveal the apocalypse. And so I defined four people because uh, there's some very important revelations who are coming up in uh, March which have been announced by uh, Joe Arpaio. He's going to announce all the results of his investigation about uh, Obama's birth certificate. And this is really universe shattering. This, um, his uh, cold case policy commander, Mike Zullo, said it's universe shattering. And um, that means that they're going to reveal everything they have. But I personally put a lady in contact with Joe Arpai with Mike Zullo um, through uh, through the guy who works at uh, PP Simmons called Joe uh, Mike uh, Shoesmith, he um, I asked him to contact this lady who who is a uh, cousin of Obama's and who says she knows that Obama's father is not uh, Obama Barack Obama Senior. Uh, it's a uh, it's a black man from Kansas who was uh, assassinated in 1961, the year when Obama was born. And, uh, okay, so, I mean, she said that she could not reveal the name of uh, this person because of uh, racism in Kansas and that the, the family of that person would, would get trouble, they'd, they'd be attacked. And, um, and so she says, um, so, so she says she can't reveal it. So I said, you should get in contact with, uh, well, she wanted to get in contact with Arpaio and Mike Zullo, and she said, I contacted Orly Tate, I contacted Arpaio, I contacted uh, Mike Zullo, and uh, I didn't get any answers. So I said, okay, I'm going to contact P.P. Simmons, uh, Mike um, Shoesmith, who uh, is uh, the right-hand man for Carl Gallup's, and Carl Gallup's telephones to Mike Zullo every day. They call, they talk on the phone every day. So, um, so that's what happened. I, I uh, gave her link to Mike Shoesmith, who I had good relations, and we, we talked with uh, Mike Shoesmith a lot. And uh, he said, okay, I'll, I'll pass it on to Carl, and then, um, or, or to Mike Zullo. And so Mike Zullo, then I, she, she wrote to me later, she said, I talked to Mike Zullo, and I gave him, and he asked me for the name of this person, because he said he was, he, he was going to investigate it. She said, I, I gave him the name. So this is really like an apocalyptic revelation, this fact. And I can speak about it, because I'm the one who arranged it. Because she had contacted, she said she contacted Orly Tate, Joe Arpaio, Mike Zullo, and they didn't answer her. None of them answered her. But she, so she was, she, she was feeling despondent. And so I talked to her, and then I listened to her story. Because, I mean, her story is, is, is uh, it's so rich that it, you have to take a lot of time to go through each detail. But, uh, but the story is consistent because she repeats it over and over and over and over again. She's an old lady, she's 70, but she keeps repeating it over and over because nobody wants to listen to her, so she repeats it over. And if you check what she says, it's always exactly the same facts. She says the same thing. Three people were killed. They were on the, on the, uh, in the, at the river. They're doing a picnic with, uh, with uh, Obama's mother and she was pregnant at the time, and these three uh, black, I guess they're all black, one of them was black in any case, uh, yeah, the, uh, there were two were black, because I saw the sister, Leela Hunter, the sister of another one, she's black, and uh, they were drowned, and they were on the banks of the uh, Kansas River, and uh, the, the, bodies, uh, uh, the ba bodies came up on the sandbars, uh, only three weeks later or something. So it's very detailed and she goes over these details over and over and over again. And she says that uh, when Obama was born, it was at the uh, Forbes Air Force Base in uh, Topeka, outside Topeka in, Can in Kansas. So it's very, um, uh, it's very precise. She says that uh, her father went to the Westboro Baptist Church to have Fred Phelps, the head of the Westboro Baptist Church, sign over the papers of guardianship for Obama's mother. She goes through the details very carefully, many, many, many times throughout her blog. And I, so at the end, I said, okay, you know, okay, you don't have to repeat this anymore. I believe you, and uh, no problem. So I'll give you the address of uh, the email of Mike Shoesmith, 
and uh, or I, I gave Mike Schusman the address. Said, "Hey, can you pass this address on to uh, Mike Zulo? He wa uh, this lady wants to talk to Mike Zulo. She has things to tell." So it's thanks to me. So I'm the messenger. That's what I'm saying. I'm the messenger. So the the, t the apocalypse team is there. That's the apocalypse team. I'm the messenger because I'm the one who put these people together. This Linda Joy Adams is her Obama's cousin's name. Put them together with Mike Zulo and uh, Joe Arpaio and Carl Gallops and uh, Mike Shoe Smith. There's a lot of people. We're a big group. So I said, okay, I'm the reluctant mes messenger. Uh, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are Orly Tates, right? She contacted Orly Tates, and Orly Tates didn't answer. But Orly Tates was involved in this too. This lady uh, contacted Orly Tates. If I had had Orly Tates' secretary's number or address, I would have passed her on to Orly Tates. I passed her on. I passed her on to uh, Mike Zulo. Uh, Joe Arpaio. Here I'm going to do. A, I'm just talking here. I should. I should show you something. Here, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are Orly Tates from the beginning. I was involved before that even. Even before Orly Tates came on the scene of the birthers, uh, I was already posting at a um, video which was about um, Philip Berg, who's a Democratic lawyer, who's like in Hillary's camp. And he was saying that Obama was not eligible and that he did not have a birth certificate. And that was before the elections. That was in 2007. And I was already posting at, his, uh, at a video about him. So I need Orly Tates, who's one horseman of the apocalypse. Joe Arpaio, you know, who's famous. He's Mike Zulo's boss. Carl Gallops, who's uh, the first man for P.P. Simmons. And Mike Zulo. So those are the four. And I'm saying that Mike Shoesmith and Linda Joy Adams, Obama's cousin, third cousin, those are really the linchpins the people who made this happen. Without them, it wouldn't have happened. And they, they talked to me. Mike and Linda both talked to me. They're, let's say, we're friends, or we, we have contacts. We, we've been writing to each other for years now. Um, so they're witnesses to me as a person. Personally, we're, they witness me. And I depend on them. I have depended on them. And, and for this thing here, Revealing the apocalypse, revealing the name of Obama's father. This is really, earth, this is universe shattering. Now, I don't know what Mike Zula was talking about when he said universe shattering news, which is going to be revealed in 50 days. But for me, the real name of Obama's real father is incredible. That's what I'm saying. So I made pictures here. This is a picture of me. And in the back here is the, uh, the uh, symbol of the god called Kala Chakra, which is the Tibetan Buddhist tantric god. And this god is, uh, uh, is the prophetical, in, in this teaching of this god is the prophecy of the Buddhist apocalypse. And in that it says that the, the Antichrist figure, the, which we call the demon king Krin Madi, Krin Madi will be of a mixed religion, just like uh, Obama, Christian, Jewish, uh, Muslim, mixed mixed religion, also Manichaeism, a fourth religion. There will be a mix of those, just like Obama. He has, he has a Muslim name and he claims to be Christian and he has Jewish family. So he, he mixes these things. So uh, for me, Obama is definitely not only the Antichrist for Christians, he's also the demon king of the Buddhist uh, apocalypse. So, um, so I gave some explanation in this article, but it's basically the same thing which I said here. Um, and I explained how I made her contact uh, Mike, Mike Shoesmith. And Mike, and Mike Shoesmith passed uh, Linda Joy Adams on to uh, Mike Zulo. And Mike Zulo forced her to reveal the name of uh, Obama's real father. He said, this is a police investigation, so you have to reveal that name to me. So now, the, the revelation that now that I'm revealing, I mean, this important news is that Mike Shoesmith, probably. Carl Gallup, certainly, I think. Mike Zulo, for sure. Joe Arpaio, Linda Adams. Those people all know, at least three, possibly four people, know for sure that uh, Obama's real father's name is da-da-da. They know the name. They have the name. Right now, as we're talking, those people know the name. And that's my revelation. 
So the two witnesses are Mike Shoesmith and Linda Joy Adams, and then the four horsemen of the apocalypse who are, who are really hassling to reveal who Obama is are, of course, Early Tates, who's been there for years, even before our bio, uh, Carl Gallops. Carl Gallops took some time to, get, to become a birther. And um, Joe Arpaio, who is the boss, you know, for Mike Zullo. And Mike Zullo. Mike Zullo is the guy who, 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 got, who got Linda Adams to, to reveal the name. So these people all have this name. So this is the Apocalypse team, and they're ready to roll. So, you people, now, you're, now you people know as much as I know. I don't know the name, but you people know as much as I know. And I, you've, I've also explained to you how I was the person who put these negative and positive forces together, and I got the electric shock. I created the electric shock between these forces, and I put these people together so they're working as a team. These people are working as a team, and with this video, I'm spreading this worldwide everywhere. This is on YouTube. This is on Before It's News. I'll put this in uh, in a new article, and I'll, I'll include some. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm, I'll include some um, of the comments here because there have been um, 23 comments, and um, there's one person here who I can't put the whole comments here. Maybe I can put them in. There's one person here who's saying you should not reveal anything because you're going to mess around with the investigation and uh, there are uh, there are big forces of authority and power and uh, this can be very bad for a lot of people you know so he's saying you know it's going to be a train wreck you know but you know we can't know how heaven works the ways of heaven are unfathomable so you know we we can be the messengers of the apocalypse but we, we cannot decide how heaven works the ways of heaven you know we can be the messengers we can speak the truth and reveal who Obama is in the Bible it says the apocalypse is the revelation what is the revelation it says in the Bible in the apocalypse all things hidden will be revealed so we just reveal the hidden things we just take the stones and turn them over We're, we don't leave any stone unturned we just reveal the secrets if people want to hide things we go and reveal it that's all we're just the revealers so I, I, I went into argue with that guy and say no you know uh, we, we, we can't replace heaven put ourselves in the place of heaven and we, we can't start playing God and say oh okay we're gonna do this apocalypse or they, and he said to me no you should not talk about religion he says no 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 this is this is not the heavenly religious apocalypse this is this is a police investigation I say no 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 way this is not a police investigation this is far further Obama is the, the most powerful man in the world and uh, the day after his election in uh, Chicago, in his hometown, the uh, lottery drew 666. To me, he's the, the Antichrist. And P.P. Simmons has made many videos saying that Obama's the Antichrist. So we're all on the same page. He can't say, don't talk about religion. I'm talking about religion because he talks, the, the, the uh, P.P. Simmons people, Carl Gallops and Mike Shusman, they talk about religion. They do it all the time. So here are some people who are supporting me. And um, the, the, it's mixed. There are a lot, a lot of people are supporting me. Uh, here's Apollo, his AC. He says, oh, well, all these uh, messages of the apocalypse are white people. So he says, hey, it's racist. It's racist, you know. So he's trying to pull the race card in the apocalypse. This guy is trying to play the race card, just like Al Sharpton or in all the liberals and um, people like... Um, People like uh, Chris Matthews, uh, they want to pull the race card during the apocalypse. I mean, they, they, they're fighting against heaven. They're fighting against heaven with the, with the race card. They want to protect Obama with the race card against uh, karma. I mean, Obama has to face karma. <laughs> so, um, so here there's a guy who says, uh, this guy says, he, he's, uh, he's kind of on the fence. He says, yeah, maybe, maybe, Maybe there's going to be a false flag or something. He doesn't know what's going to happen. And then here's Merkin. Merkin is a, is a guy who's following me. He's a follower. He says, make a video. So I'm making a video. Okay. So uh, here's people saying, oh, it's more demented imagination. You know, they're anti. This is a, this is a, um, a spammer. He's been spamming for years. Now here's a guy called Herusa Ostasa Osarum. Um, he wants to know exactly 
who he says who are these four horsemen because he says the four horsemen in the Bible are very precise he wants to know how can I explain that these people are the four horsemen you know the, the four horsemen come from the they have to come from the Iraqi Euphrates River Euphrates River and that they, they will kill a third of mankind well, I explain this in the. I explain it in this way. So he says, um, um, the Euphra Euphrates River, for me, is the uh, uh, Christian, Jewish, and Muslim religion. Okay, the Muslim religion, and um, all of these people are. Uh, there's one Jewish lady, and then there's uh, there's uh, Arpaio and Zulu are both Italians. You know, these are all the Christian religions which come from uh, from uh, the Middle East. And how can this kill a third of humanity? Kill a third of mankind? Well, um, in the apocalypse, everybody is judged because it's the day of the last judgment. So everybody, anybody who has supported the Antichrist, Obama, and Obama had uh, re uh, uh, favorable ratings of 80, he was voted with 85% favorable ratings in Europe uh, when he was elected the first time. So, I mean, so many people love Obama. And if those people are obstinate, they, they're obstinate and they continue to support the Antichrist Obama, then they will be judged in the day of la last judgment for their sins of supporting the Antichrist. So, you know, they, they, they'll get a bad judgment. They'll be found guilty in the day of last judgment. So, uh, they'll, um, th th that will be a negative, negative judgment and the day of the last judgment. So, um, he says the, the horsemen are not angels. They, they will be angels and not humans. So they won't be here in the USA. Well, Carl Gallops is from Australia. Uh, Mike Zullo and uh, Joe Arpaio are both of Italian descendants. Um, what's her name? Uh, Orly Tates is from Moldova. And Mike Shoesmith is from, um, is from uh, Canada. So, and then none of these are Americans. I mean, th that was kind of just a joke. He said they couldn't be from USA because he said people from the USA could not be angels. <laughs> I'm the only American in all these people. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm half, half American. I, I live in France, so I'm not complete. I, I don't live in America, so. Uh, okay, so the reluctant messenger. He says, you're a reluctant messenger. Yeah, I'm the reluctant messenger. Why are you re so reluctant? Oh, I'm so reluctant because I'm not a Christian. So, revealing the Christian apocalypse, and particularly the number 666 drawn in the lottery, that is, we don't have 666 in Buddhism. So, to, to reveal this apocalypse, I had to learn everything about the Antichrist, uh, the apocalypse, Christian apocalypse. I had to learn about the 666. I had no idea. I've discovered all this stuff. So, I had to go back to school. So, it was, uh, it was like a, a trying thing for me because I, I've always been had, had to argue with the Christians all the time about Christianity. And I tell them, I am not a Christian and I'm not interested in these topics. They say, yeah, yeah, you have to talk about all these topics. Apocalypse, Revelation, everything. You have to talk about everything step by step, chapter by chapter. And quote your sources. <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm not going to start going to Bible class. I'm a Buddhist for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah. So that's how it was. That's why I'm reluctant, because this is all new to me. It's just, it's just uh, overwhelming for me. So, he says, enlighten me as a watcher. So, I guess I've answered to those questions. I don't know how I'm going to do this article. I think I'm going to redo the article and include a lot of uh, excerpts from what people have said. Okay, people, bye-bye. This is my video for tonight.